people are searching for answers. And the greatest answer that we can give anybody is Christ. If your church or anybody else's church can reach 50 to 75 people that we may not reach or whoever, then we've done what we're supposed to do. I really believe that live content is really the key that churches should be using as much live content as they can. It's a lot better than just posting a video and then it sort of gets forgotten. My pastor asked me the other day, he said, is there a software where we can make our pre-recorded service look live on Facebook? And it was so easy to do. Wonderful program. It's easy to use. It's a phenomenal way to engage every opportunity you have right now to get as much of your message out to people as you need to get out. I used it uh, yesterday. I put our pre-recorded service that went up Sunday on there and just you know shot it out live to Facebook and it looked incredible. Everything, it, it looked perfect. We started three years ago and we had a couple hundred people to start with. We're now a thousand people strong every single week. And the live stream has been a crucial piece of marketing tool for us. It's been a crucial piece of getting more people to our church. There is a window of opportunity outside of just Sunday. We can record something. I can schedule it for Thursday at whatever time and our youth pastor can be on to be on to chat with people and to be there. I want to show you what it looks like on Sunday morning when we're about to go live. This is actually our service. It is actually Sunday morning. It's about to go right now. Two, one. There it goes. So there it is. Nothing scheduled anymore in Live Pigeon and the video is actually playing live right now on Facebook. It really gives you the ability to have a way to have a great experience and still have a live presence in this space, many churches are now seeing is gonna be a part of their new norm and how they function and operate, is going to be how we have to approach ministry in general. A lot of people don't attend church every single week, and live stream is that mechanism that can keep kind of that content. They don't feel like they miss something necessarily. And it just gives a lot more flexibility. Now they can go home and watch it, you know, and I can, I'm re reminding them through the live stream, through the notifications that are hitting their phone. It's coming up at the top of their feed. It's good for them to watch. And it's, it's just, it's as easy as what you missed. We have to be willing to be flexible and learn and not be so tied into what we've always done. This is another great way to help reach more people. There are many churches who are really struggling through this process. They didn't want to embrace it. Now that they have to, they are lost. They have nobody around them that knows how to do this. They don't have anybody around them to guide them. They have nobody to give them insight. And it's a very, very difficult space to be in because you're trying to hear from God. You're trying to figure out what to do, but you have nobody around you to help you. Um, and this is why stuff like this can take a small church who may not have the ability to do all of these things and do this and simply record their message, schedule it, have it go out to the platforms they wanted to go out to, and, and they can do that and still be able to reach their people and, and do it in a way that looks good and, and, and it really has a, a professional look to it that makes them feel comfortable about what they're doing and they don't have to worry about trying to set all this stuff up and it, it just makes it a lot better. That's what I recommend to churches that are just smaller. We're a thousand person church. And I'm grateful that we have the equipment to do this because that's not usually normal. You should kind of see this in like five to 10,000 person churches. But you know, Live Pigeon really is a great alternative to this. Because <laughs> this is thousands of dollars versus just a few hundred dollars. And this platform is giving the opportunity for many places to do something that they may not have been able to ever do or think about doing because they didn't feel like they had the ability and the technology.